everybody's doing well. Just got out of a uh, two hour long coffee uh, with a good friend here in Greenville, South Carolina, uh, representing the Gville Hustle, the Greenville Hustle today with uh, Ryan Alford, shouts to you. Um, so I wanted to put this out there specifically for those that live in South Carolina um, and more specifically the, the Greenville area. Uh, we're gonna be creating a group of people in Greenville. And this group of people in Greenville are going to be like-minded individuals that are just trying to constantly level up. People that listen to or, or read stuff from Gary Vaynerchuk, that people that um, are listening to podcasts every day and that are reading books and that are uh, creating content, that are uh, social media influencers, or that just are trying to better themselves. And the reality is it's not common. It's an uncommon thing. And so my wife just said that Ar Arden says hi. Hi, Arden. <laughs> That's my daughter. <laughs> What's up? Hey. Um, but like, it's not common. What I'm finding is these conversations that I have with people, um, I can have with with random individuals that they're like, I have no idea what you're talking about. Like, I don't know who Gary Vaynerchuk is. I don't know what, you know, any of this stuff you're talking about with social media means. Like, it doesn't make any sense. Like, I don't get it. And so it's bringing together people that get it, bringing together that uh, people that are trying to put good stuff out there, that are trying to provide value. Um, I want to get a group together here in Greenville and we'll probably do like a monthly meeting um, maybe more, uh, but at the very least, a monthly meeting where uh, we can get together and just talk about uh, stuff that's going on, uh, talk about ways that we can help one another. And when I mean help one another, I mean literally how can we help one another? The entire thing, there's not going to be any cost involved. It's just going to be a group of people that want to get together and just do some good stuff. The sidebar from that, we're going to start doing uh, maybe bi-weekly or at least monthly a, a deal where we get like five or six people together just sitting around a table and just talking about random subjects but things that are important to people and we'll film that content which will be the best kind of content that you can put out. You know, I could stand in front of you and I could say, all right guys, happy Wednesday. Here are five ways to get through adversity. But you know what's more impactful? To see five people sitting around a table and listen to them talk about adversity that they've been through, experiences that they've been through, ways they got past things that they've uh, gone through themselves. That's what's important. Um, and that's what people resonate with and that's the way that you can really take that information and do something with it and have it impact people's lives. And that's what we're a thousand percent all about. Um, John, come down to Greenville, man. <laughs> but that's what people, that's what we're all about is just putting value out there. As you know, we don't monetize any of this stuff. It's 100% just paying it forward and trying to help one another. What I've recently become just more and more and more aware of is that relationships are everything. Relationships are everything. But this is what a relationship usually starts off like, right? It's two guys, you know, they get together and they have this just awkward small talk. Hey man, what's going on? Where are you from? You know, where'd you, where were you born? Where, where'd you go to high school? Where'd you go to college? You know, what do you do? Like, you know, all this just nonsense. Like, I don't have time for small talk. That's why I've hated networking events in the past, networking in general in the past, because I do not have time, patience, mental capacity for small talk. So some of you that saw the um, vlog episode that I did uh, with Ted Phaeton, uh, the head anchor of Fox News uh, here in Greenville, that conversation started from him sending me a DM saying, hey, like, like the stuff that you're doing, would love to connect sometime. I'm like, great, let's set it on a calendar. And it was like 30 days out, like I've got, you know, May 3rd that we can meet, uh, great. So we set that on the calendar, updated the day before, he's still good for tomorrow, cool. He came in and when he walked in the office into my studio, there was no small talk. It was the first time we'd ever met in person, first time we'd ever talked ever, but it was immediately went deep into like, how can we help each other? It immediately went into um, 
talking about our stories and our passions and what we feel like we're brought put on this earth to do and 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 getting that message out there and how can we help one another do that and that's what building relationships all about building relationships has nothing to do with small talk it has nothing to do with wasting time it has everything to do with getting to the root getting to the stuff that's important just like the two hour long coffee I just had this morning uh, with a guy named Greg Miller like there was no just small talk it was talking about important things that is what I am all about right now uh, and will continue to be because that's that's how the law of attraction works and that's what makes an impact going into these relationships going into the I, I called that vlog episode um, intentional relationships because intentional relationships are all about what you can give and nothing about what you can get like I don't need to meet with you to get anything from you because I don't need anything from you. I want to meet with you to see how I can provide value to you. Now, I'm not Mother Teresa. I know that by doing this over and over and over and over and over and over and over for years that good things will happen. That's just the way the world works. But when the intent on the, on the front end, when the intent is just to provide value, when the intent is just to make that person's day better, make that person's life better, make that person, whatever they're going through at, at that time, be able to provide some type of insight, when that's what your mindset is going into it, then that's everything. Like it, it becomes less about what can this person do for me? What can this relationship get me? What dot can it connect me to to get to the next person, to get to the next person, to get what I ultimately want to do? Eliminating all of that and having it get back to the basis of life and relationships in that I want to connect with an individual, have a meaningful conversation, cut out all the front end nonsense of small talk, get into a meaningful relationship where then you both part ways having become better. You both part ways having synergies. You both part ways. Jonathan Parker, who um, has the art of conversation, he talks about this fact that when you get together and you have a conversation with someone, that you and that person are sitting in a gallery with a blank canvas, blank walls, and you are creating together art that you're putting on that wall and that when you leave that conversation that that art stays on the wall that you will then immediately be able to recall when you think of that person when you get back with that person you immediately are in that same spot with the blank walls that now have pieces that you've created together in those conversations and so meaningful intentional conversations and relationships that are built with like-minded individuals. I'm obsessed right now with creating more of those. And so if you live anywhere near Greenville, South Carolina, and you want to be a part of this movement, then shoot me a DM because we're going to set up the first date. I'm going to set that on the calendar today and I'll post about it uh, to get that out there. But we're going to have the first one here in the next two weeks. And that's my goal. And to make this become a regular thing where we have people that want to freaking change the world, people that want to make an impact, or at the very least, people that just want to get better. Get together and can do that by sharing their experiences, by being transparent, by talking about what nobody wants to talk about, by talking about what they're afraid to talk with their other friends about, having those conversations and having an outlet for them to be able to reach other people with an incredible message of value first, value first and impact. And that's how we scale impact. That's how we scale impact. So with that, shoot me a DM. Let me know if you're interested. I hope you guys have a great Wednesday. Check out, we just launched, uh, today's Wednesday, so we do Sales Wolves, our, my Sales Wolves podcast that we started last year. We release those on every Sales Wolves Wednesday. <laughs> I can't say that without smiling ever. Uh, but this one is a blooper reel and it's pretty freaking hilarious. Me and my business partner, Joseph, we do this podcast and today's episode is a blooper reel and it's hilarious. I'm going to do a post about it as soon as I get off this uh, live and uh, it'll have the link in my uh, stories where you can swipe up uh, to watch the full video. But it's it's it'll put a smile on your face. I'll put it that way. So with that, hope everybody has a great Wednesday. Screw hump day. It's Wednesday. It's time to get work done and it's time to make things happen and move the ball forward. Hope you guys have a great one. We'll talk to you soon. What's up guys. If you have not yet done so, please like, 
my Facebook page. Then next to the like button, click following, which will bring a drop down. And when it says in the news feed, click see first. This will ensure that you will always see the content that we're pushing out. The last thing that we wanna have happen is for us to put out content that you actually want to see, but you don't. So make sure that you hit see first and we'll see you next time.